Radio stations start playing Christmas music around November. We listen to all those classic songs that even your parents got into, but we really don't know the history, nor do we ever wonder, what can we mix with it to really celebrate the holiday the way that it needs to be celebrated? Andre Darlington has a brand new book out. It's called A Booze and Vinyl Christmas. I love how you brought CeeLo Green into this book. I mean, he's got some holiday magic as well. Oh, CeeLo, now this is really fun. And it's not a, an album. I knew a couple of the songs, you know, because they had been hits. Um, but I hadn't really gotten, you know, I had, I wasn't really, you know, necessarily, I think people have forgotten about CeeLo is what yeah, I'm trying to yeah, say, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, so you put on this and it's just so rocking. Um, and uh, I think I do a couple, uh, there's a green cocktail for him, you know, because he's, he's doing a lot of interesting stuff. And, uh, he, it's uh, just kind of a great, great rock and rock and album. Yeah, so. yeah. I've always liked CeeLo Green, and I, I, I've always thought it was because I live here in the South, and and crunk and all that kind of stuff. It has been so popular down here before, but he, right. he brings a sense of soul to to everything that he does. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I've got. Uh, I have a drink called Stay Green. I just found it here, but um, you know, people think of Midori, that green melon drink, as maybe not, you know. You know, maybe kosher with uh, with uh, you know co- craft cocktails, but it's really made a huge comeback. It's delicious as a flavoring additive. So I argue that um, you know Midori, maybe you don't want to glug you know four or five ounces of it, but it's a perfect modifier in cocktails. So I do kind of a Midori and coconut sour for, oh for him, and then he's got also a fireside blaze because he has a really great version of the song called This Christmas done by the soul singer uh, Danny Hathaway. Um, and it's kind of a unique one. You know, I'm always in this book. I was always looking for, you know, there's sort of the 25 Christmas songs everybody knows. And then I kind of wanted to expand it to like, here's this one and this one, that, you know, digging around the edges that these uh, are just great songs that aren't heard so many times. Um, and for that one, you know, it's a it's a sort of like a, a little bit of a warming Christmas punch with uh, apple and uh, allspice. Man, you could turn this this book into a drinking game at a Christmas party. I mean, put you know the DJ's got all the songs. He's about ready to jump into this one, and it's like, all right, man, get that mixed drink ready. Down it. <laughs> yes, my next book is Christmas booze and vinyl, Christmas and Twister. <laughs> oh God, no, oh, that's no, or, 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 or you know maybe a a, tri- a little bit of a trivia. I do feel like people know um, a lot about their their favorite albums, so it'd be fun to do a, a little trivia game with this. So, what do you mix with a Mariah Carey song? Because I mean, it's already sugary sweet. So, do you do you go with kind of a bitter? <laughs> You know, I make a joke with her that, um, you know, her initials are MC. So was she destined to be the queen of Christmas, oh, uh, you know, wow. for the Merry Christmas? Um, so she gets a, a you baby um, because, you know, she loves to say you baby a lot yeah. in a few of her songs. And uh, of course, I made it sparkling wine. So she gets a little brandy and sparkling wine and some lemon juice. It's a huge crowd pleaser um, and not that sweet. And then um, she does a song called you, uh, sorry, called Miss You Most at Christmas time. Um, it's kind of one of those fun Christmas songs where somebody's singing and like missing their former lover and that kind of thing while staring out the window, you know, kind of a, a contemplative uh, song for her and um, so I do a, a kind of a, a wine sparkler oh, wow. where you have, you have ro- rosé and orange bitters and then when you put a sugar cube in the bottom the sugar cube activates the champagne and so you get this beautiful sort of like a Christmas light streamer constantly coming up from the bottom of the glass wow. so it's very glamorous for her Wow when I think of Dean Martin and Christmas music I always think baby it's cold outside is that like snow cone with vodka in it? <laughs> Yeah, you just go outside and harvest snow yourself, and uh, <laughs> and there you go. I did do a Let It Snow for him, um, which is kind of a – he was really a big whiskey and scotch drinker. Yeah, he so was. I kind of went with the idea that if it's snowing outside, you want something to kind of be, again, kind of contemplative and, you know, something you can turn the lights down low and listen to, to Dino croon at you. Yeah. Um, and then he has another fun one, uh, and he does a really wonderful song, another kind of one of these nostalgic songs, like that Mariah Carey song called The Things We Did Last Summer, where the singer's look Looking back at Christmas time and you know yearning for for um, you know his summer love and it's kind of a weird song but I do kind of a, a classic sort of 40s 50s uh, sort of a whiskey and a morrow which is kind of a kind of a take on a Manhattan but it's got Benedictine in there which has oh, like a nutty wow. sort of flavor to it so something a little unusual so in this book I try to you know show people the classic so if this is your first cocktail book you're gonna run into versions of cocktails you should know 
um, with some holiday twists to them, and then just some some originals as well. So, is it okay if we wear an ugly sweater while, while reading this book? I think it's required. <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was packaged with it. <laughs> You know, I could do a little, you know, maybe a little knitting kit to go along so you can sew that, that reindeer with googly eyes on your sweater. <laughs> Where can people go to find out more about you, Andre? You're upbeat, you're fun, you're connected to readers, and, you know, you really do bring that holiday spirit to life. Yeah, this holiday, find me at AndreDarlington.com. There's all kinds of stuff about my tour. I'm on a national tour uh, this holiday season. And there's also BoozeAndVinyl.com where you can find out more about the two other volumes as well. Talk to me about that tour. What's going on? Yeah, so I'm doing a tour right now. I'm going through the southeast. So I'm doing, uh, I just came from New Orleans and I'm doing uh, Charleston and uh, Greensboro and Asheville, North Carolina. So I'm hitting the North Carolinas. You know, it's the land of Christmas trees. So I had to go there. Oh, well, I'm here in Charlotte. You totally missed us. So I guess I'm going to have to go to Asheville to catch you then. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I've definitely been at the bookstore in Charlotte. I hope to be. I hope to be back. I've passed through Charlotte quite often. Are you Are you at the over there at the Park Road Shopping Center when you come to town? Or are you Or are you at the Arboretum? I am. You are. Yeah, yeah. I'm wow. over at the shopping center. Yeah. So wow. I grab my uh, grab my pastry at that at that little French cafe there and, <laughs> and hit the bookstore. Suarez Bakery, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, that that guy did my wedding cake 31 years ago. I mean, and he's still oh, there. No yeah. World famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you and when you come through uh, come cruising through the carolinas or charlotte again we got to get together for face-to-face time bud that would sound that's amazing that sounds fantastic well you be brilliant today okay yeah thank you have a great holidays thanks for having me on